Hey guys, welcome to Off Street Comics Off Topic. We're your host Kirby Kid and Black Superman, also known as David Clark and Walter Bryant. And today we're doing a quick little video on an Attack on Titan theory that I came across last week that had me really excited. Yeah, because uh, well, apparently the theory is that Aaron is a time traveler. Time travel. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like for me, time travel. It's like science. Science. It's just it's amazing. Um. Now there's a, there's, a, there's a few key things that um that point to that. Um, now keep in mind this may have been the original theory or it, it may have been the original ending, but um after the, the ending leaked last year that may all be changed. Mm -hmm. So um the first obvious clue is the first chapter in the manga and the first episode of the uh, show is called to you two thousand years in the future. So we're going forward in time at some point I would assume. Possibly. I mean, yeah. Um, now, the, 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 the next two points um, both kind of come from like the same area in the manga, but uh, they're shown uh, they're shown differently, well, one, one in the anime and one in the manga. In the, in the manga, um, and I, they probably didn't show it this way in the anime because it would have been too obvious. The first scene you get after you see Levi's squad um, take out Titan, Titan, and the guy goes, for humanity. After that scene is you see Mikasa, or we think it's Mikasa, um, with short hair and the scarf uh, from the nose down, and she says, "See you later, Aaron." The next panel is just black, and right after that, he wakes up and he's crying, and he asks Mikasa, "When did her hair get so long?" You know, as if there's two different Mikasas in that same little scene. And he says that he had a long dream and couldn't remember it, you know, which is something you would have, Ooh. which is something you would, I mean, I don't know, I, I, I would assume if you had a, if you had all that knowledge and you went back in time, you probably wouldn't want to remember that either. Well, I mean, if you, if you uh, take some of the time travel theories that are out there, plus some of the time travel movies that are out there, one of the things that they say is that once you uh, travel back in time, your brain is Swiss cheese. You've got, like, all these holes in your memory. Right. And you can't figure out what's going on until they start to fill in. Exactly. So when he first shows up um, and he's like, when did your hair get that long? You know, well, he may just not remember that that's not right. her. And, and, he, and he asks, where are we? Mm -hmm. You don't go to sleep and wake up and not remember where you were. <laughs> well, actually, that's not true. I don't. I have. No, I mean, you wake up and you look around and see, like, there's not that many, like, okay, especially in Titan, there's not that many places you can be at. You're either in the fields, you're in the city, or in your house. Yeah, that's really true. You, I mean, because <laughs> you don't have freedom to be walking around in Titan Universe, especially if you live in the poor area like they did. But maybe he was, like, really, really sleepy? No. Mm -hmm. No. Um, so the, the theory is that 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 that, that might be either Mika Lotus be Blossom? Mikasa, huh? Lotus Blossom? No, no. It might be either Mikasa, or it may be uh, her and Aaron's child. Cause remember, Titan Shifters don't age like everybody else. And if they had a kid, his kid would at least be half Titan Shifter, and would be able to live probably a little longer than everybody else. So, um, yeah. And Aaron probably being a bad father would probably be called Aaron by his daughter. <laughs> Yeah, well, and then there's also the whole he kind of learning pretty quickly about his Titan powers. Yeah, he was able to do it instinctually, as if had done, as if he'd done it before already. Because mm -hmm. so. you know, because you don't naturally just go, let me just bite my hand, focus on this one task, do that task, and then pull myself out. Because he's learning way too quick. Yeah. Because I think I think you know, it's only been like like a month or so, like you know where, where we're at right now. Yeah. It hasn't been much. that long, and he was able to just go. Ksh. It's not like a reflex. And then there's this one other thing which I've just thought of. Why do all the other Titans seem to know what he's uh, he's capable of? I mean, they all want him. Mm. So that would that would seem to say that yeah. maybe he's, maybe the other ship just came back to to spur on the events that would you know get them to, you know get him to them. Who knows? Um, now another thing that um, to me blew my mind because you know the the hair thing could be anything. That could, maybe that could have been a badly drawn panel even though they drew the same person on the same page and it looked wildly different. Um, what could have been, or what, what really stuck out, stuck out to me was in the anime. When he when he wakes up, um, you see his dream. And if you go frame by frame, th everything in that dream has not happened yet. Um, you see the um, the scene of Levi's squad dying in the giant forest. 
um, which doesn't happen to Aaron at that point until five or six years down the line. Mm. Um, then you also see uh, the uh, I think it was the lighthouse or the, the or the mill house, the the, the mill house, the the, the, the tower in the, at, at night where they were that where they got surrounded by titans at night. Mm. Um, which I believe that's also when the Mike, the monkey titan appeared and threw a rock at him, right or something. Yeah, yeah, that oh, that scared the Jesus out of me, dude. You, I, you, I can't even. Anyway. Monkey Titans rock, though. So. No, he does not. He does. He has his arms are weird. <laughs> his arms are weird, and he should not live. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah. So you see, the, you see the tower, and then the next frame, you see the same tower surrounded by Titans. That hasn't happened yet. Um, you see a scene of like some toys and like a like a king's robe, maybe indicating that maybe Aaron becomes a leader of some kind because there's no people in that shot. Um, but you also see Aaron's mom be eaten by the smiling titan. Um, and these are all things that haven't happened yet. And he wakes up from that dream and he says, you know, it was a really long dream. I can't remember it. The sequence, though. Um, we should look back on that. It's, yeah, it's further in time back to closer, cl- closer to where Aaron like, was. Because mom, mom be- being killed happens like the next day. Right. So, you know what? I didn't even realize that. High five, sir. Thank you, thank you. On air theorizing. You just you just witnessed live theorizing. Um, yeah, it does go sort of like... It, 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 it either, depending on... Because we haven't seen all the events yet. Because there's one guy like going... Oh, we don't know what that is either. Um, one guy biting. So there may be some kind of feral disease, but whatever. But we uh, it either jumps around or it is going chronological. Because the last thing he does remember is his mom being killed. Mm-hmm. So that does indicate that maybe it possibly might be... Moving back, um, and I don't, I don't remember the exact order, but obviously um, during the video right now, I will be playing it, so you will be able to confirm for us, and I will also know while watching it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's also interesting as well. So those things kind of all together kind of make it for a strong case, um, you know, for this. Um, and also, it's like, hey, why did the colossal choose that exact moment to attack? Maybe was to kill Aaron's mom. To spur him, like to make him who he, he's supposed to be, you know. Possibly. Um, because otherwise they could done it any time. Why did he wait five years? You know, like that, because he could done it any time. Because he's proven that he could transform into the colossal at least partially enough to break the gate down any time. Yeah. And why would the shifters help the Titans? Unless Aaron needs to be ready for something. Yeah, I mean, and again, uh, as we were talking about before, they they pointed out that they want Aaron. I mean, they've made it really, really well, obvious. Yeah, because because he has the, the Titan controlling ability, but who, we didn't know that right. at the at front. So right. why did they? And who knows? Maybe the Titan shifters came back to lead things in, in the way where Aaron might become king. Because right now they're in rebellion, because the king and all the people are are treating everybody like crap, and the path they're going down, humanity will be extinct. If they keep running things, mm-hmm. and right now they're already talking about Krista or somebody else taking over the king, um, but the the image we saw in the beginning of Attack on Titan, it was not a female's uh, uniform; it was a male's uniform. Mm-hmm. So who knows? She might die, and Aaron might become king. You know, or Caesar, or or Caesar, or some or, or some sort of thing. I, I, I you're not talking about Caesar the monkey, right? I was talking about Caesar because that reminds me of Monkey Titan. Now I hate Monkey Titan. <laughs> that was the reason um, I brought it up. Anyways, yeah, so Aaron might be the one to lead. Because think about it. What's better than having a leader who can turn into a Titan? A leader who can turn into a Titan and control other Titans. <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good... Or at least a military leader or something, you know? Yeah. Um, and that would help, you know, keep humanity alive. Because it, it, the, the theory is that... And strengthen the walls. Aaron, yes. That, 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 would, that would imply that Aaron, you know, either Aaron or Aaron's son, because, you know... You're gonna get your dad, so that's not weird, you mm-hmm. know. Um, might come back to try and save humanity from. You from could be named after your dad. Okay. Side note: Every man in my family is named Walter, except for me. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad. I like being named David. There's just a Walter Gundam. There's no David Gundam yet. Yeah. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. But uh. So, but yeah, uh, so let us know what you guys think about, about the Titan theory, the tri- time travel theory. If, and if you guys have any ideas on how that can strengthen it, or if you can shoot it down, let us know. Uh, but that's what we think about it. We think it's going to, I think it's time travel in some kind of way. You know, what do you think? I think that um, there's a good possibility. Yeah. Then again, he could just be clairvoyant. I don't, I don't think so, though. I, I time travel. 
Time travel is cooler. I want to believe that. Yeah, because clairvoyance well, is boring. Well, actually, if he was clairvoyant, then that really makes him very stupid because he knows sense, all this though, stuff is coming. Why would he be clairvoyant prior in that timeline, prior to receiving Titan powers? Uh, no. To have warnings no. about how to use his Titan powers? No. No. Those are memories from the future. Those are the days of future's past. I love how we're like slipping other movies and st- and stories in here. By the way, in that movie, okay, in the commercial, there was that scene where Professor X is were like talking to each other, and he's like, "I don't want your future," and he's like, "You're scared." I remember, and it sounded really cool in the trailer. It, it was, was not, not in the, in the movie. movie. I was wait. That was the, that was why I saw it. I want to see because. Patrick Stewart, when he did that, like the way he delivered that line in the commercial, I'm like, wow, that was really impactful. I want to see the scene that leads up to that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, Fox. I hope you don't get to buy Warner Brothers because you suck. Anyways, that's it for this video. <laughs> Until next time, <laughs> I've been your very angry host, Kirby Kid. And I'm Black Super Red. See you later, guys. I'm not quite as angry. <laughs>